Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Reignited Trilogy! Well, let's get on with Shady Oasis! This is another level that we won't be able to 100% complete our first time through. So yeah, that's the gimmick, I guess you'd say, of this level. I can't really call them challenges, it's more just the level process. Ooh, I like the reflections from the water in here. Makes this room look nice. You know, I'm happy every time I have something positive to say about Spyro 2 Reignited. I don't want to complain and nitpick about everything in this. Oh, miss this. See that gym case over there on the uh, upper platform? Well, that's, that's what we need, a uh, move from the final homeworld of this game to access. Oh yeah, we need to be heading up here first, because there's a berry bush up here. Oh yeah, there's an achievement in this level for uh, not touching the water, because it, it is actually dangerous. It might not look it, but it is. <laughs> you know, in the original game, it just looked like green lava or something. Like, it was hard to tell what it even was. I guess it was always supposed to be water.
wonder if I can still flame this one by just jumping. Oh, what the heck? My game, like, lagged for a second and it made me do, like, a super jump. You know, something I've read is that apparently, um, a lot of things in this game are actually directly linked to, uh, the frame rate of the game. Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Like, I've heard that, I've heard the PC version is actually more difficult than the console version because it runs in 60 frames per second, you know, as opposed to 30. I've only ever played the PC version, like, I don't know, maybe the console version feels closer to the original games. But yeah, my point is, maybe the lag is what caused Spyro's jump animation to go that much higher. <laughs> okay, we'll go down there to get that in a bit. We should get that thief up here first. Also, we already got the uh, achievement, by the way, for... Like, I don't know if it popped up, because, you know, sometimes, sometimes Bandicam likes to record achievements, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, we already got the uh, dry foot achievement, so... Don't have to worry about falling in the water anymore. Spyro, my brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us. So yeah, the head bash is the final move that we learn in the game. And we will get that soon in the final home world. Alright, and I believe the last 40 treasure would be inside of that uh, gym case up there that we have to break with the head bash. So let's just get this last lamp thief and we'll be out of here. Wait, wasn't the thief in here? Or is it the next room? Oh, here we go. And that is all we can do with Shady Oasis for now.
Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Go. Are you ready? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and beat Gulp in this episode. Jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Gulp. I, I would normally do this as a separate video, but I don't know. That level was pretty short, and I wasn't expecting it to, you know, take us straight to this because it didn't do that with Gulp, did it? I remember commenting that it didn't take us, you know, straight to the, uh, gulp fight, but... I mean, the crush fight earlier in the game. Gulp, we finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Gulp, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. So, I have heard horror stories about Gulp in Reignited, like ever since the game first came out. I have heard how difficult this boss apparently is. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, I can tell you right away. Oh, he is definitely more difficult. See, I have been wondering this entire time whether or not the people talking about Gulp being so difficult were just, like, first-time players that, you know, had never fought him before. Because Gulp is a really hard fight in the original, like, the first time you fight him. No, though, when, when he tries to jump on you, he, like, tracks you. Like, his jumping tracks you. Like, it's a lot more difficult to get away from. The only reason I'm not killing the fodder is for the achievement, but I'm probably going to die. Actually, maybe not. Spyro, pick up the missile, thanks. Where you see, there is a skill point in this level. There we go. Oh. Wait, wait, I thought getting a skill point and an extra life would, uh, give me sparks back. Time for you to start taking some damage. Oh, he also shoots those electric balls faster. Those pterodactyls take longer to come in and drop things to fight him with, too. So yeah, on the first, uh, the first attack, you'll always get the barrels, second the bombs, third the missiles, but from here on, it's gonna be completely random what items we get to fight him with. Also, yes, he can also eat the items, too, and use them to do his own attacks. And he can also eat fodder to get his health back. I actually forgot about that. Okay, it seems like kind of 
running right at him is probably the best way to, uh... Not really right at him. Yeah, just, just ki kind of run at an angle and then kind of run forward and behind him. That seems like the best way to dodge that. Oh, shoot. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that time I dodged him. What the heck? I didn't know he could damage himself. I wonder if that could happen in the original game, too. Oh, he is really trying to flatten me. Oh my gosh, he did it again. <laughs> Just one more hit, or two more hits. Honestly, if I get hit this time, I'm, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> There'll be an easier way to get the uh, achievement related thingies to this later.
my gosh, did we actually do it? Oh dang, the no-hit skill point and conservational too! Just outside the castle in Autumn Plains, the castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the Winter Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Uh huh? Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. Oh! <gasps> So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey! Give that back! <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> I mean, at least he actually did try a little bit this time. <laughs> anyway, that will be it for this episode, and next time... Beautiful Winter Tundra. See ya, everyone.